I'm here at Lane Leverage Stables, and Lane, you just had a big coke sale all during celebration. Celebration went great. Indeed. So, uh, how many did you sell? Seventeen. 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 Now, what was the studs and the dames? Can you remember them? Man, I sold I everything, everything, honors, IMs, Dixie Lamons. It was everything we had trying to be good sold, no matter what they was buying. Well, now, you had a lot that was entered in the celebration this year that you had started out here before. I sure did. Oh, 61 horses. 61 two- and three-year-olds that were started here at our facility showed that, at the that's celebration. Amazing. Any of them win World Grand Championship? Re well, Revival was won. Had several reserve world champions. Had the the top three, three year, uh, two year old gildings, first, second, and third come from us. Riding to your left, it is the winner's first, like two year old walking gilding winner tonight. It's going to be entry number 676. Love Jose. Casey Wright is heavy iron. Reserve two-year-old amateur, uh, Zorro Jr., one two-year-old amateur state, one two-year-old stud class, they all come from us. B division of two-year-old walking stallions, Blue Ribbon goes to entry number 375, Zorro Jr. said the magic you said revival undefeated undefeated four-year-old world grand champion world grand champion. a lot of people was predicting i know tommy williams kept saying hey they're they gonna move him up they're gonna move him up they've done it before but they didn't they, i don't blame them i wouldn't have no, this time uh, anyway i wouldn't state class was fantastic two-year-old class was fantastic i mean we've had it we had a great celebration this celebration is all together was best than we've had in years well the the crowd was amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, there was people out there that I did video with the crowd, and and I was just, I, I was I people was in the nosebleed section. <laughs> oh, tell me. I mean, hey, they was up way up high. Yes, sir. Watching, so it, it was great. And you know, out in front of the VFW booth and running around, people everywhere. Oh, grounds man. are just full of people. It was a it was a good good celebration. Heck of an atmosphere. Bedford County's come back to support our horse. That's a good thing. Yes, sir. I know my cameraman went down to the donut booth several times trying to get donuts before he went up to video. I ended up having to go get his donuts for him because the lines were so long. He didn't have time. But your cookout, how, two, many, how many people did you We pick? guessed about 250. About 250? Yeah. I know, Tommy, we've got video of it, which we're showing. But Tommy said it was packed out here. He said the food was fantastic. It, it's uh, people started rolling in for about 10:30, and they didn't quit till 2:30, and uh, it was a big crowd. Well, now, now you still have two-year-olds out here for sale, right? I do. I have a few two-year-olds left. I'm about out of. I'm about out of them now, though. I'm about all in the stuff for next year. Yes. Well, I know. I got a filly out here that that uh, your man told me. He said, "Well, we're riding her." And that, that's good, as long as she gets rid of it. She's real great. She didn't get rode as much as during the whole <laughs> show. Hey, I we'll start not, hard I next week. I would not think she would be ridden at all. Yeah. as Because I know you were busy during the celebration. Everybody was. You know what What was surprising is years past during the celebration, our, our crowd starts the second week. 
like going in Wednesday to Saturday. Right. This year, we was busy from the Monday before it started. Every day we had a big crowd. Every day. Well, you know, Lane, as time went on, and in, in this year we got a late start, but all of our shows have been huge. I mean, we every show we've had this year has had increased attendance, increased entries. Mm -hmm. The show that I put on over in Manchester that that uh, Marcy and I put on, along with my good buddy Kenny. We, last year, we had a hundred and, I think, 13, 14, maybe 15 entries. This year, we had 224. Mm -hmm. So that was an example of the increase in the entries. And I know the celebration, their entry was way up. You know, the class numbers, the d number of horses in the classes was unreal. 27, 28, 30 in the class. Oh, uh, uh, across the board, it just, it was, hey, hey, it was amazing. We had, I think, 18 in our classic horse class. Now, hey. That's saying a lot. Back up, buddy, because, I mean, that was just fantastic. You know, our Tennessee Walking Horse family, then we really spotlight and parade on our classic horses. Really, to have this many classic horses competing at this level, that's a testament to this breed. So, here in the Tennessee Walking Horse family, we don't hide our classic horses. We don't retire them once they hit 15. We put them in the show ring under the lights on Thursday night and let the world see the care that these Tennessee Walking Horses receive and the level they compete at. Ladies and gentlemen, that's worth a great round of applause for all these riders. Not only for showing tonight, but for the care they've given these horses. Make sure they were able to show tonight. Here's the celebration. We point out the long lifespan of the Tennessee Walking Horse. Every class, if there's a classic horse in it, it's got an asterisk by its number. So this class in your program, every one of them has an asterisk. 15 classic horses. There are a total of 62 classic horses registered to compete at this year's celebration. You'll find a list of them on page 143 of your program. It's not uncommon for the walking horse to compete effectively well into their teens and even into their 20s. Again, it's a great testament to our horses, our owners, the care they receive in our training facilities. It's certainly always a great moment when we're able to spotlight that here in Maverick Arena. You know, another thing that has helped us, and I, I want to give a I want to give a shout out to him, Tim Hatfield and show. Yeah. He has done an amazing job oh, he did too. for our industry. And he is exactly what we've needed. He's kept the compliant horse in the ring. And if you wouldn't out and people, I don't know how to say it. I guess they, they, followed, they followed suit. But we got to give a uh, hats off to Tim Hatfield and the crew. And I'm going to tell you for the first time in a long time, we felt like show was an ally and not an enemy. Well, they, they, and, they've, done, they've done a good and job. And Jeffrey Howard and Mike Emmons, man, they 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 keep our industry rolling year after year. Great people, and, and you know, we owe a lot of thanks to them people. Well, we we sure owe do. thanks to them. And I'm gonna tell you another, Tommy Armstrong, keeping that track ready. Yeah, ever. Mark Thomas, I mean, everybody, everybody over there did their job. It was super, uh, I can't say enough, I just, I was tickled. Uh, everybody's happy. Everybody's watching. Uh, just amazing. Really yeah, was. It really was. You know, uh, and going back to Colt sales, we go back to what, what we do. Uh, you know, barefooted Colts, so good as, all, as they always do. Uh, people just buying horses. You, you yeah. know, it's, it's unreal. People just coming back to the horse industry. Look, Rising Star, they had great sales. They I, sold up. A bunch of them out there, and I know you sold a bunch here. You know, so. we got customers that been out for a while, like Ronnie Stanfield, Ira Kilburn. They come out and bought a coat. I had four or five others, you know, that had been out for a while. Hey, we want to come buy a coat. Hey, it, 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 it's amazing. I've got phone calls, and they say, where did I go? And I've, I've sent people out here. I've sent people Rising Star, and I've sent them. I just told them, go to a barn. Yeah. Just go to a barn. That Every barn has a horse for sale. I know that your, your deal here to get them in green, mm -hmm. put them out ready. That's right. So, and, and from what I'm seeing, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. With that many, and the revival's at the top of the list, I'm gonna have to say, because yeah. everybody's saying, oh, next year, the state class, he'll be in there. And he, they're right, he, he will be. He will be, and he'll be tough to beat. Yeah, he will. He's already cantering. 
it's, you know, revival had kind of had a long history. I can't take all the credit from. Actually, when we got revival, we'd bought him from Eric Yokely, and Eric had rode him maybe ten times, and we bought him and carried him, kept him through for months, sold him to Rocky McCoy for a lot of money. Then he sold him for a lot of so revivals had a little history with some folks that you know it's a lot of a lot more than just us to credit. Well, he team. just kept climbing the ladder. Just kept climbing. It. Well, I tell you what, tell, give everybody your phone number, let them call him because he still got coats out here, folks. Yes, sir. Y'all come out here and see him from the first shoe to the second to the third, and get you one that if you don't show him this year, you can start next year. That's right. right. Give him your number, bud. Nine three one six seven five twelve sixty one. Give us a call.